Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing some water marble nails. Now, I don't know if you guys remember water marble, but they used to be so popular and I don't think I've water marbled for, I want to say like six years, which is crazy. So I was super excited to try it out again and I did partner up with Arosa on this video and you guys already know I love their formula. I love their colors and they're good with water marbling, which is great because not every brand works with this technique. So yeah, I did a few different color combinations, honestly, because they're just fun to do when you're bored. So yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So first off, you're gonna need a container and I'm actually gonna be using an empty yogurt container. I was making a smoothie and I was like, oh, I could use this. So you could use that or like an empty applesauce container or a small glass bowl, just something that's not super big or anything. And then I'm also gonna be using some Q-tips and toothpicks. And what's nice is you normally have this like laying around your house somewhere. And if not, you can always get them from Amazon. And that's also where I got these nail protectors from because you're gonna want something to put around your nail because this gets really messy. So whether it's these or scotch tape, liquid latex, just anything and you're just gonna put that on after you apply your base color and for the base I either do the lighter of the two colors or white but either way you do need a base color and then I'm gonna be using desert rose and moon for the first water marble and I did go ahead and fill up my container with room temperature filtered water and now I'm just gonna start dropping in my nail polish so with this I'm only using two shades so I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two but you can really use however many shades you want three four 10. I mean, 10 a little aggressive, but if you want to. Um, so when you're dripping the nail polish into the water, you don't want to touch the brush to the water, and you also don't want the brush super high to where the nail polish will sink to the bottom, but you kind of want to just hover it over the water and let it drip down naturally. And you're just going to keep repeating this until it fills your cup or until you have enough rings to where you can draw a design in it. And you do want to work as quick as you can while you're doing this because if you go too slow, the nail polish will start to dry and then it won't spread properly. So just go fast, keep the bottles open, and you should be good. So next you're going to grab your toothpick and start drawing a design. And honestly, I am not the best at water marbling. I pretty much do the same design like every time so you can get creative with this but I just went with the basic pulling in to make that flower petal shape I mean it's easy it's cute and I feel like with different colors it kind of makes it look like a different design each time mm, kind of <laughs> Anyways, when you're drawing the design, you want to make sure you're using a very light hand because if you push into the nail polish too hard, it kind of makes it separate and then it just starts looking weird. So just make sure you're being gentle with it. And you also want to make sure you're wiping off your toothpick after you draw each line. So I normally just wipe it off on a makeup sponge. You could also use a paper towel, but basically this is going to stop it from separating again because if you have a bunch of nail polish on the toothpick, then it'll start tearing apart the water marble does this i hope this makes sense um, but after that i'm just gonna take my finger line it up and dip it at an angle and i know i just did a terrible job of showing that but you'll see it a little bit better in the next example but anyways after that you're gonna remove your barrier and then do any other cleanup that you need to so i like to just use a q-tip and acetone and just wipe off the bottom of my finger and then use a cleanup brush around my cuticle area and this is why i said you want to put something around your nail because even with a barrier it gets really messy so without one you're just gonna be cleaning forever another thing I forgot to mention when you go to pull your nail out of the water you want to take it out as slowly as possible because it is really easy to get air bubbles when you're doing water marble so just pull it out really slowly to try to avoid that and then whenever you're done cleaning up you just add a top coat and you're done so for the second one I'm actually gonna be using three of their brand new shades that they just came out with I'm using desert rose again and then saguaro and super bloom and yes I looked up how to pronounce Saguaro I don't know why I'm just always afraid I'm gonna mess up a nail polish name like really bad and I don't know so because these colors are all really bright I decided to start off with snow as my base this time and I don't know if I mentioned this before but you do want to make sure your base is completely dry before you go to dip it and then again I'm gonna take each color and drop it into the water and you actually don't have to do one finger at a time you can do two or even three so yeah I'm just gonna let that play really quick and then I'll be back with more tips when it's time to dip my finger All right, 
right so I'm about to dip my finger again and as you guys can see it's not completely flat it's more at an angle and then I'm just gonna scoop it exactly where I want the design to be and right now I'm just taking a toothpick and just cleaning up the surface before I take out my finger because if you try to take out your finger while all that nail polish is still on top then it's probably gonna mess up your design so you can use a toothpick or a q-tip just to swirl it around and get the rest of the nail polish out and then again you want to take it out as slowly as possible and here is your finished design like I I love this oh my gosh so that's pretty much it when it comes to water marbling and if you mess up just try again it does get easier and honestly even I still mess up sometimes but guys once you get the hang of it it is so satisfying so I do have two more color combinations that I tried and I'm just gonna play that with some music for you guys and I'm just gonna tell you now that last one I have no idea what the design was supposed to be but I just started swirling my toothpick around so anyways I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.